coronavirus is back with a vengeance. Well, actually, it didn't go anywhere. We have been dealing with coronavirus ever since the pandemic started. So I'm going to do another video about coronavirus followed by one which we talk about wearing masks. Should we be wearing masks? Is masks killing us? Or is it the best thing for us now? Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Dr. D. Terrence Foster. If this is the first time that you're joining me, let me just extend to you a very warm welcome wherever you are in the world today. I just want to extend a very special welcome to you. And I want also for you to know that on this channel, we focus on simplifying medical issues for everyone, particularly those who may have felt left out. This is your channel. Consider subscribing. It is free and we produce a new video every week. So let us begin and talk about coronavirus. Now, coronavirus are a large family of viruses. They are many different kinds and some cause disease, usually in mammals and birds. In human, however, these viruses cause respiratory tract infection that range from mild to lethal or even deadly. Mild illness include cases like the common cold caused by uh, the coronavirus. Not this coronavirus that's um, as part of the pandemic, but the coronavirus that existed before the pandemic. Now, also accounting for the um, virus of the common cold is a virus called the rhinovirus, which account for about 40% of the common cold. Now, in addition to the coronavirus that caused mild symptom, um, there are two main types of coronavirus that have been identified. One is severe acute respiratory syndromes or SARS coronavirus, abbreviated SARS CoV, C O V, uh, for coronavirus. And this was identified in 2003, um, uh, which caused an ep epidemic in China, infecting more than 8,000 people and resulting in about 774 deaths in 26 countries. Now, that is roughly a death rate of about um, almost uh, 10%. Now, the second coronavirus is uh, called the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS-CoV, that's M-E-R-S-C-O-V, MERS coronavirus, M-E-R-S coronavirus. And it emerged in Saudi Arabia in 2012 uh, with symptoms similar to SARS-CoV. Uh, the World Health Organization in 2012 stated that there were 2,494 uh, cases of which uh, 858 people died. Most of those deaths were in Saudi Arabia in which 780 people died. Um, the total number of infections spread about over uh, 27 countries. And you could see that the infection rate for this is about 35%. So this virus was very deadly. It was uh, transmitted uh, similar to um, the other coronavirus. However, one had to be in very close contact. In both of these coronavirus that were deadly, none of them were considered to be easily transferred to person unless these uh, people were in very close contact, such as occurring providing unprotected care. Now, in early 2020, after a December 2019 outbreak in Wuhan, China, uh, the World Health Organization identified another coronavirus, which is called SARS-CoV-2, as a new type of coronavirus. And this outbreak spread quickly across the world, leading to the pandemic that we are now in. Now, the newly identified novel or new coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, has caused a worldwide pandemic of respiratory illness, and that is called COVID-19, that has um, not previously been identified in humans. So COVID-19 then is the name of the disease caused by the new coronavirus, um, or the coronavirus called SARS-CoV-2, um, which is severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus number two or sometimes it's just simply called the novel coronavirus now this of course spread in a similar way to the other coronavirus um, at least that was what was believed until now it's discovered that there are other things that need to be noted for example you will notice that there there are certain things that are important with these three coronavirus that were discovered now, SARS-CoV, the first one, um, resulted in 8,000 people dying and over 700 people dying in 26 countries. 
a death rate of about 10 percent where MERS MERS cov um, resulted in 2494 uh, cases of which uh, 858 people died um, with a 35 percent death rate but coronavirus uh, SARS-CoV-2 was definitely more easily transmitted uh, it's also airborne um, it's it's um, it's transmitted uh, between asymptomatic carriers or between asymptomatic and those who are not um, infected so we're looking at a situation now where we're having um, an infection that is easily spread because it could be spread by airborne it's uh, transmitted from symptomatic as well as asymptomatic carriers and and even though when those um, asymptomatic carriers are, are are well they could take that virus and transmit it to people who are more vulnerable and therefore leading to a much larger population of of uh, people or individuals being infected uh, that is in part one of the reasons why uh, COVID uh, 19 is so deadly or coronavirus uh, SARS-CoV-2 is so uh, significantly important and so deadly um, in terms of its ability to infect um, so many people um, without them even knowing initially leading to a larger number of people dying even though the death rate is less than um, SARS-CoV or MERS-CoV one of the things that is important about coronavirus is symptoms, even though so, so many people are asymptomatic. Now, the CDC has put out a list of uh, signs and symptoms, um, which indicate that um, most people who are going to have these symptoms or sign will have them within 2 to 14 days of um, having, the, uh, having contracted the virus. These may include muscle ache, body ache, um, headaches, loss of taste or smell, sore throat, congestion or runny nose, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. And these are just a partial list. Um, and these lists keep um, expanding or keep growing. Uh, and it does not include all the possible symptoms of coronavirus. Um, so you should be aware of that. You should also be aware of whenever someone has like a shortness of breath that is significant or chest pain, those symptoms are considered emergency and they should be treated or referred to an emergency facility to be treated immediately. So that's important to know. Now, on this channel also, make sure you check out some other videos that I've done on the transmission of the coronavirus and how to protect yourself from this virus. It is very deadly. These videos are important as we get into the explosion of the coronavirus. I'll see you in the next video when I talk about masks and wearing masks and the impact of wearing masks. I sincerely hope and that this is helpful to you. I encourage you to like, share, and comment on the videos and this channel. Share it with your friend, family, or anyone. And consider subscribing. And when you do, make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you will be notified each time we release a new video, which we do every week. And also remind all of us, all of us, always remember that each of us should strive to keep a healthy mind and body. Thank you so much for watching.